William Vaughn here with a quick introduction to the Spacer Toolkit and the Pushing Points Hatchet Collection. The Spacer Toolkit was created to allow Moto users the ability to quickly change the spacing of multiple contiguous meshes in a single mesh item. To use the Spacer Toolkit, follow these simple steps. With multiple contiguous meshes in a single mesh item, switch to Polygon Component Mode and choose Spacer Initialize. This tool is required for the Spacer X, Y, and Z tools to work properly and should be used before attempting to use any of the other tools in the Spacer Toolkit. To activate this tool, click once in the viewport. You can click more than once without causing any problems, but be careful not to scale your meshes by clicking and dragging. Next, choose either spacer X, Y, or Z. It is important you select the correct axis. These three tools set up the core functionality of the spacer toolkit, and it's important that you select the correct one to get desirable results. Depending on what axis your geometry is lined up in will determine which of the three options you choose. If your geometry is running up and down through the Y axis, then you choose spacer Y. If your geometry is lined up across the x-axis, you choose spacer x, and if your geometry is placed down the z-axis, then you choose spacer z. It's important that you only click one of these options per mesh item. These meshes are lined up across the x-axis, so I'll choose spacer x. After clicking the appropriate axis, the spacer move tool will be active and you can start adjusting your geometry. Moto's standard transform tools won't operate on the geometry the same way as the spacer transform tools do. This means you'll need to use the spacer move, rotate, and scale tools to manipulate the geometry. Use invert selection to swap the start and end of your geometry chain. It's extremely important that you only use this tool once per mesh item. Using it more than once will create undesirable results. If you use invert selection and want to swap back to the original setup, use the select base option. If you used invert selection and then used the select base to return to the original state of the tool, you can use select inverted to swap back to the inverted state. If you want to clean your mesh of the stored data that is generated by the Spacer Toolkit, use the Delete Base and Delete Inverted options. If you run into any issues where the tools aren't performing the way you'd expect them to, simply use the Delete Base and Delete Inverted options and try using the tools again. While there are several tools included in this toolkit, it's fairly straightforward to implement into your workflow. Don't let the sheer number of tools worry you. They are there to afford you flexibility when working with the Spacer tools, and I have found them to speed up my modeling process.